Um, well, my name is Julia, and I started going to the summit um, back in 2015 when I was a student at NC State. I really didn't know a whole lot about church planning, um, and then during City Project, heard more about it, and specifically heard about the new Charlottesville plant that was going to be happening. My first thoughts was that maybe that would be something I would consider further down the road um, once I was kind of more established in my career and just as an adult. Um, over time, the Lord really softened my heart. So I met with Josh in September, and then I first visited Charlottesville in October of 2017 on a weekend vision trip. I still couldn't make up my mind, and I kind of dragged my feet for about two months. I had to give my decision by the end of the year. Pretty much like the last day of the year probably was when I finally emailed Josh and said, I'm going to do it. Um, and part of what took me so long to decide was uh, knowing I would have to find a job. I really kind of had to let go of that when I said yes to moving here, putting God first and knowing that um, He will provide for me, um, even when it's maybe different than what I would want. My name is H.D. Jacobs. I've lived in Charlottesville now for 12 years. I work for uh, what was SNL Financial, now s and Global Market Intelligence. So shortly after I moved here, my brother got married and um, one of his wife's friends, HD, um, was also living in Charlottesville, so we connected there and he just wanted to get to know me just to see if anyone that he knew would be um, a good person for me to meet in terms of my job search. Um, and so I was able to share that a big reason that I was here was for this church plant that we were starting. We were actually having our first service that weekend, and so I said, you should come. I could never make it work, and I kept telling her, I promise I'm gonna come, I promise I'm gonna come. So finally one day, I made it to center, and that's the start of everything. Heard Josh preach, and it was instant like, he was speaking to me directly. Julia was sort of the vehicle that I needed to get me there. Um, and then Sinner's now continuing me on that path and strengthening that relationship with God. I was definitely excited. I think I was a little bit shocked that it was me. Like, I don't know, I just never pictured myself as someone that could have that sort of um, role in someone's life. But it was just another reminder of just how every person is called to be a part of sharing Christ with others. Before Christ, I was a sinner, and baptism was my outward uh, plea, basically, and, and God has accepted me for who I am and has given me that clean slate to start fresh. This is not something I'm just doing to check a box. It's how I want to live my life, and this is the, the way I should live my life. Seeing HD get involved in our church and ultimately come to know Christ was just really rewarding. It really kind of gave me a sense of like this is what we are called to do um, in that just like is so much more valuable.